Like uh, let's talk about Wake Forest at Vanderbilt here. We did mention we get Sam Hartman back. The line was Wake Forest by eight. It is now 13. Uh, Vanderbilt, shout out to them. They've won two games. That's as many games as they won all of last year. Brady, what's your play on this one? You know, I, I kind of wavered back and forth and hearing the news of Sam Hartman coming back, this line jumping to 13. I was on Wake initially because I like what I saw from Mitch Griffiths in Hartman's place, but 13 points, I don't know. It's it's too much. I mean, look what Clark Lee and Vanderbilt has done so far. I know they're 2-0, and and you can make the case they haven't really played anyone. Bottom line is, though, who's going to stop, stop Mike Wright, a quarterback, both through the air and on the ground? Uh, he's been phenomenal so far this year. I think the defense has improved. I think Clark Lee has upgraded this roster. I think they can hang around with Wake. I mean, let's not forget, too, it's not like um, th this defense at Wake has been able to stop anyone either. So uh, even though Hartman's back and you know they're going to have a high-powered offense, that's kind of what they've been known for under Dave Clawson. The reality is I think this game will be a lot closer than two scores here. So um, I'm taking Vanderbilt in the 13 points at this point. Uh, I think they can keep this close. And I like the under two. I think if you're going to, if you think Vanderbilt's going to keep it close, obviously Clark Lee's running the football, trying to slow the game down and shorten the game, not allowing Wake to just, you know, sit back and do their slow RPO game and take shots downfield. I believe we have a lock between us two right here, which has been a minute since we've had. I don't want to know our record on these two. But for all the same reasons that you gave, I totally agree. I think there was a massive overaction to Sam Hartman coming back. He doesn't play defense, and that's the thing that worries me about Wake Forest. Why I think they'll win this game. 66-2 I think is an overreaction as well. The number is just way too high. So I'm on the under as well. When was the last time Vanderbilt was 2-0 and and had this type of enthusiasm and put up a 63 spot in week one against Hawaii? Felt like they find a quarterback, as Brady mentioned. I think the crowd actually might be in a factor, which is something I never thought I would have said about a Vanderbilt crowd in Nashville. But there is a tremendous amount of excitement. And Clark Lee said he wants to be one of the best teams in the SEC. Well, he's a long ways from that. He is making strides as making this team a tough out within the SEC. And for sure, with Wake Forest coming to town. So give me those points and the Demon D uh, um, and Vanderbilt Commodores. My guy, Barton Simmons, too. I was about too. to say, shout That's out to my Barton. boy. I can't go against him. <laughs> Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.